Aloha! I'm doing my report on the Soweto Gospel Choir, um, African Spirit. And so I'll just give you a little bit of the history of the group. Um, Soweto actually stands for um, Southwestern Township. And so Soweto is located in the city of Johannesburg. Um, their choir formed in 2002 and they've earned numerous awards since then. The first award that they got was the Heltman Award, Australia's prestigious performing arts award um, for best contemporary music concert. And they've also earned awards such as the Emmys and the Grammys, uh, the SAMAs, the South African Music Association, and um, they've been nominated for Oscars as well. Um, right now they have 49 members, and 18 of those 49 are founding members, so they've been with the group since 2002. Um, 49 members, it kind of goes up and down throughout the year as people come and go, but they're um, at 49 members right now. Um, their musical structure has a lot of traditional African aesthetic values, as you can tell by their costumes, they're a tr traditional African group. Um, they have such aesthetic values as um, rattles, jingles, drum combinations, and they also use microtonal inflections and bending of pitches quite a bit. So I want to show you this clip um, of them singing a song called One Love, and it just kind of introduces their group really well in their musical structure so I will let you listen to that
so we saw in that um, video of One Love, in the beginning there was, um, there's drum combinations and the slack key, slack key guitar. Um, throughout the video, the two main singers use microtonal inflections and bending of the pitches a lot, and their voices are kind of the rough-edged vocals. Um, so that's kind of the structure of that song. Um, and the next clip that I want to show you is called, um, it's the Soweto Gospel Choir singing Thena Simno Quibo. And this song kind of uses the call and response structure. And the main singer uses lots of microtonal inflections. And um, the group kind of sings a different beat for most of the song. And so um, that's kind of just a timeline structure there. So, um, we'll listen to this next video here. So in the song that we just listened to, Thina Simno Quibel, um, we saw African structure, musical structure of a call and response, microtonal inflections, and the timeline structure. Also, um, there was a little bit of ostinato in there, which is just the constant reoccurring of the melodic, melodic fragmenting. Um, just of the background singers kind of just saying that same melody throughout the whole whole um, performance there. Um, so I have one more 
a um, little clip to show you about um, this last song. It's called I Bid You Good Night. And it's um, a deeper, the deeper voices of the male um, members of the group. And um, yeah, it's just really fun to listen to. I like the deeper voices. So just take a look at this. Lay down, my dear brother. Lay down and take your rest. I wanna live your yeah. I want your Savior's breath. I love you, but Jesus loves you best. I feel it. singer was kind of a higher pitch but the background singers were that deep um, kind of raspy powerful sound that's really unique to the African culture um, so just in conclusion what I found from um, looking at the Soweto Gospel Choir um, is that they bring a message of unity and hope through their powerful voices in their traditional African structure and the structure that they use mostly is the call and response, the timeline and variation, ostinato, microtonal inflection, and bending of the pitches. So yeah, thanks. Aloha.